morning. <laughs> yes, I have been camping. And I've left quite a few, um, I've read quite a few comments from people. And, um, right, let's start again. <laughs> I left a comment on Facebook saying my van was damp and um, I was surprised how many people replied saying theirs was too so I thought I'd put up a little vid about it um, it doesn't normally get too bad in here to be honest because um, I'm using it quite a lot um, if it it, it tends, you find that they tend to get damp, the campers, if they're not used. So, if you've got a camper and you've got a driveway, um, your best bet probably is to put a small heater in there. Um, you could only, you could run the heater for say 24 hours, say once a week. Um, you don't have to keep it in there all the time, not really. Um, anything to minimise the damp build up really um, I mean this isn't damp damp it's not soaking in here but um, you can see by the mirror um, but I can feel it's in the cushions and, and it's in my sleeping bag a little bit as well which is here it just feels just a little bit damp um, obviously when you when you take your clothes off to go to bed, um, ideally you could put it in a in a bag or something, maybe same as you would if you were camping. Um, I mean, I put me I put my trousers back on this morning and or my jeans, and um, they just felt a little bit damp, you know. So um, I may run the heater for for a day or so, just to sort of break it down a little bit. Um, because that's the trouble this time of year. It does build up if it's not being used. Um, especially in here because there is a lot of cloth. And obviously but, um, the moisture in the air, I guess, is just going to get soaked into the cloth. Same with the cushions, really. Um, so really, if you're not using your van, um, you could take your soft furnishings indoors as well. Um, your cushions, you know, if, if it's not going to be used for two or three weeks, say, um, take your soft, soft <laughs> take your soft furnishings indoors. Um, and when we used to do that with a caravan, an old caravan we had, um, not not the last one because that wasn't too bad. Um, you could stand them up on end, stand the cushions up on end. Um, don't lie them flat, stand them up on end um, that tends to reduce it a little bit as well i found um, like I say and put a heater in there perhaps um, I don't know about dehumidifiers um, I do have one um, but I think they work better at higher temperatures I'm not sure um, I don't really know on that one I don't know if you guys know yeah, um, leave some comments down below if um if you know about them um like i say i i have got a dehumidifier so maybe that might be an option i might run that in here for 24 hours just to take the moisture out i don't know but i like i say i i think they work at um higher temperatures so if if it's warm warm slightly warmer weather then uh, it might work better i don't know i don't know but <coughs> So it's another option isn't it um, there's that gel stuff you can get as well um, little tubs um, is it silica might be silica gel I'm not sure um, but there's those moisture um, capturing thingies you can get for your caravans and stuff they do work quite well they're not too bad they'll take a little bit of moisture out but, um, if you don't do anything then your van will get a little bit damp, unfortunately. Um, the modern vans are definitely, definitely a lot better than the older ones. 
um, I would imagine it's probably to do with condensation. I mean, like I say, this one isn't too bad at all, really. Um, it does get used most days um, for work. But obviously I've got the bulkhead here, you see? This bulkhead, which is behind you. I've got the steel bulkhead, so obviously the cab's getting heated with the um, van heater, the cab heater. But there's nothing in the back here. So this is obviously staying damp. <laughs> so, um, yes, not not so, not so good to run a gas heater in here. Because... Um, you know to try and dry it out because all you do is put more moisture in because there's a lot of uh, a lot of moisture in um lpg oh yes so that's about it really um just thought i'd throw that one up right i'm gonna uh, have myself some breakfast me and ellie are gonna go out for a nice walk um and then Head off home and do some bit more on the transit, I think. So, hope that was useful to you guys. Um, if you've got any other ideas for um, keeping your camper moisture free, um, stick it in the comments down below because it'd be very useful. So, that's it for this one. Love and light, guys. Have a good rest of the day and uh, see you next time.